Hi everybody, welcome to Exploring the Temple, Our Bodies Uncovered. I'm Sherry Zach Morris. And I'm Justine Shelton. We are certified yoga therapists, just being inquisitive, just being explorers in life, and we thought whatever we find out, we're gonna tell you, because I bet you wanna know too. Just had an exciting adventure just last week where we went to a dissection lab in Boulder, Colorado. And we're so excited to share a lot of the things that we learned with you, but we're gonna take it slow and easy. It was such a beautiful experience. We were very fortunate to be able to study with Tom Myers of Anatomy Trains and 42 people from around the world, varying backgrounds from MDs, yoga teachers, um, yoga therapists, body, body workers. workers. It was an incredible experience. And we were fortunate enough, the donor bodies were not treated with formaldehyde and the dissection was focused on fascia and connective tissue so that was included and that's a real rare thing to be able when the bodies aren't treated the tissue is much more in a natural situation and it was a profound experience so i can imagine many of you are going to go oh my gosh they're going to be talking about blood and guts right we probably won't go much into that kind of detail but we are going to share with you a little bit of our personal journeys, our spiritual journeys as well, right? Yes. As we walked into this lab, we had seven donor bodies. So we got to see uh, the spectrum, and most of them were between the ages of 65 and 95, which was our sweet spot because we yes. were very interested in the aging body. I'll be honest, I've wanted to do this for a long time, but theory and reality are two different things, so I really wasn't sure how I would respond. Would I faint? Um, would I cry? And um, the teachers really addressed that with us beforehand and while we were there. And I did cry, but mostly from the overwhelm of the sheer awe that is our body and gratitude that, that we got to do what very few people get to do. Right. And so it was a very huge learning experience for this but also for my heart and my spiritual journey to be able to face what a lot of us fear, Yeah, quite honestly, yeah. Now, both of us are donors on our little driver's license, right? We have that little sticker, right? Um, so it was curious to see how does that all work, right? How does the donor program work? Well, this program was very, very special in the fact that it was untreated, of course, but it was spiritual because we got to honor each donor individually, thank them for their gift, for their yes. gift of knowledge that they gave to all of us. And we got to name each donor. So our donor we called Lily. Yeah. So when we first started our day, we were um, taking all the donors out on the tables. There were seven tables. And we got to walk around and decide which donor we wanted to choose. So I have to tell you that uh, I navigated towards uh, a little woman, I think she was 72 or 76, I can't remember. 72. 72. I remember thinking young. And she was 107 pounds, which is how much I weigh. So I'm thinking, well, this might be an interesting one. So I convinced Justine and uh, Monique Lahner, who is the uh, director of the Soul Yoga Therapy Program in Encinitas. She came with us as well. I convinced them to stay with Lily. And we stayed till the very end. So basically, we, we spent five days with the same donor body. But of course, we toured around to all the others to, to learn from. Yeah, and being able to see different bodies. I've been teaching anatomy a while, and I would always say, you know, we're all created equal, but we're by no means the same. I had no idea. We vary so much, and what you might expect for a very little petite body wasn't the case. Right. And um, the variation in tissue, in fat storage, in a lot of different things, mm -hmm. even in how the structure was put together, use pattern. It, it was just incredible. Right. And um, such an honor. And then to be able, we all have our different experience and our different areas of expertise, to be able to have other teams share with us at a very deep level. Oh, yeah. Wow. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And to be around people, sometimes I think I'm a little odd, you know, and we tell ourselves anatomy geeks, and I am a little odd, but in regards to this, it was such a humbling experience because there were so many people that know so much more mm -hmm. and they have a different angle, whether it be through physiotherapy or working with high performance athletes, 
with us, it's working with injury and dysfunction and trying to get back into function. It, it, it was, yeah. We, we enjoyed it. Yeah, tell? a lot, a lot. <laughs> and it was an international group. We had the table of the Italians. They came in a group of like, I think eight. eight. Yeah. And so they were amazing. So they, some of them spoke very little English, but it was great because we learned just by seeing and doing and showing. Uh, and then there was a group of Taiwanese doctors there too. So they were amazing because they were sports medicine guys. And that was really great because they were so, so much into the joints, right? Yes. So what was a cool thing with Todd Garcia, who was the director of the lab, he had us on the first day write our names down and what area of the body or what we were interested in looking at. That was so beneficial. For me, it was pelvis, lumbar, spine, that yeah. area, because that's where I spend a lot of my time. Yeah. For me, it was arthritis. I wanted to see arthritis in the body because I've seen so many pictures about it and heard about it and talked about it. I really wanted to see what that was like. So uh, we'll be sharing all of those great things with you over the coming weeks as we start to film these little, what we call these little video vignettes, just on a topic. We're not going to just, you know, do the fire hose on you. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Come we join are. us. Yeah. All right. And we're going to be talking about the TFL and the IT band today. We hear a lot about that, especially in sports, right? But a lot about it in yoga as well. Well, we had a really eye-opening experience when we actually discovered really what the components of that whole area of our leg was all about. And this topic today we're going to talk about is arthritis. That was actually the number one thing I wanted to see in this dissection, is I wanted to see arthritis in the joints. We're going to be talking about the body cavity and the organs. That was a big eye-opener when we first looked inside. We're going to be talking a little bit about bones today. And today we're going to talk actually about fascia because this was a fascial dissection. It was something very specific and we're here to talk about the brain today. We actually did get inside the brain. This topic is going to be about nerves. Those were big eye-openers, especially the, the big mother one that we talk about a lot in yoga, which is the sciatic nerve here to talk a little bit about uh, some of the donors that we saw and a little bit of their personalities that we can kind of glean from them. 